Okay, so I've gone through and I've kind of just applied everything out and uh, just rebaked it out really quick. Um, again, you can't really see much from here, but uh, we have a section of this terrain, okay? Now, I want to point out, this is just a section of this terrain, okay? But if we remember, we look back here, this is what the damn thing should look like, okay? Um, so let's see if we can get Unreal to do that without crashing. Um, I don't think that we can, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this guy. I'm going to save. Find my landscape actor here, this guy, nuke him. And come back into the terrain here. And let's go find our uh, terrain, our landscape actor right there. Uh, go ahead, and we're going to wait blended normal. Uh, can I actually... Let's just... Uh, I guess it doesn't it does matter but for this it doesn't really matter just because I'm going to select the uh, um, order it doesn't really matter about the order right now that's not the point of what I'm trying to do so I'm not going to freak too much out about it again I know I'm making a bunch of extra duplicate content and stuff that's totally right now is not a concern for me I'm not worried about that at all I'm just trying to get this to build save fit to data okay save this is going to crash okay <laughs> i almost guarantee it uh so i'm going to pause the video well i'm floored uh that actually worked um <laughs> so that was cool uh go team um i honestly didn't think that was going to work um so let's go ahead and lift the actor up here now again this material is absolute ass it's just something i've just kind of thrown together there's nothing ridiculous like remotely competent about it but um once and the scale is insane look at that wow that's cool okay let's fix that <laughs> sorry I'm like holy hell that's way wrong um let's uh let's go like point point one <laughs> apply that Okay, so for the ground scale, that works out, but for this rock thing, that obviously does not work out. So let's go back into the material here, and let's start uh, altering things for us. Mega scans, terrain. Okay, um, so now what we basically want to do is, because I think it was at point like a one, is where this actually worked out well for the rock. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back down here and let's go ahead and give this a new texture coordinate because we can do that. Um, we're just going to say, oh my, God. yeah, there we go. 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01. And let's go ahead and loop that all the way through. Um, just guessing here where the normal map is for this. There it is. Same with the roughness map, I just like literally, so what, what is this called, P, PJC, <laughs> okay, now admittedly I should go through and uh, change names of these so they match correctly, but that's not right, where is, it's this guy, But the other ones, I think, look just as good, so maybe I should just pass them to everything other than just the uh, grime, the ground. Yeah, I'll just go through and do that really quick, since I'm here. And it looks like everything else should be fine. I should have organized this way more. That's the grass, leave the grass there. That's getting passed over here to that texture coordinate. That's fine. That's fine. That roughness map is fine. That's fine. Sorry, this is what happens when you don't organize stuff. Uh, save. 
Okay, so I did some minor shader tweaks, and I'm pretty happy with where that's kind of heading. Next thing, let's go back into the terrain paint here, and again, save. We're going to save again, and we're going to save again. <laughs> Sorry, I know you guys are going to get sick of me saying that, but I don't feel bad, because trust me, it sucks ass when you lose hours worth of work. Um, so, next thing is we can paint on top of this, by the way, or we should be able to. Uh, do, do, do. Give me you. Oh, there it goes. Cool, it's laggy. Um, so we can paint, right, more on this just outside of the masks as well. So those masks kind of give us just a broad kind of hint at what we're kind of doing, right? And come on, paint. Um, we have fall off settings, of course. So let me just increase that. Like to like, I don't know, one. So you can kind of get this nice feathered look on the train. Um, the next thing, can you guys think about what's going to happen here? We need to start placing some assets, okay? And we need to place a lot of them all over this thing. And this looks really cool, actually. This reminds me of Volcano, like in Maui, you know? Like, if you ever get a chance to go to Maui, it's really nice. Um, where are my... Oh, God, what did I just do? Where's my son? <laughs> it's all the way down here, Dave. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's fine. It's a directional light, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. But let's just get this thing. Uh, let's get the whole lighting folder. Let's grab all of that. And here, we'll just grab, like, literally all of this. Or not. That's cool, too. We don't need to grab all that. Why would I want to do that? Oh, it's because of my painting tools. I wonder if I can just grab that whole folder. Uh, unreal. It's like you use so many different engines, right? And over time, like you're, you're like, oh, they should all just function the same. That way it's easier on me. That would really make my life way easier. Uh, okay. And let's talk a little bit, too, about this post-processing volume here. Shift-G to ungroup that. Uh, post-processing. Unbounded. Make sure that's on. <laughs> Otherwise, it's only going to work in this little box area. All right, light source. And so let's grab this. And I'm just going to get a little bit more of a dramatic effect kind of going on here. Okay, and that's going to be as dramatic as it's going to get for this little thing here. So on this terrain here, uh, let's go ahead and figure out what this thing's called, because I can guarantee you I didn't name it correctly, because I'm a jackass. Uh, <laughs> it's layer one, which obviously is extremely informable and informing. I'm um, really glad I did that. Um, so let's go ahead and do uh, layer. Uh, is that what it was? It was grass is what I was looking for. Uh, so let's go ahead and do, oh, actually we can just pull up landscape, that'll be easier. Uh, grass output, uh, layer landscape sample. And I believe we're going to want to drop this on to burr, 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 layer two. That's what I think I call it, literally think I just call it two. <laughs> Don't do that, guys. <laughs> I know I'm like trying to whiz through this. But do not do that. Name your stuff somewhat correctly. Whoa! Why did that do that? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. <sighs> do, do, do. Grass. Two. That's what we're going to call it. Uh, I believe that's what it's called in the shader. That's my name for it. It's two. <laughs> Good job, Dave. Uh, okay, so that's there. The next thing that we need to do is we've got to grab this guy and uh, let's do a new landscape type. And we're going to call this 
two underscore rock. Okay, save, 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 save. File, save. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna come back in here. I'm gonna just jump around for a second here, so if you guys don't know what the hell is going on, don't worry about it, because uh, maybe you didn't watch the other video or whatever. I'm basically gonna import um, one of these rocks that I, we got from the Mega Scans thing. I'm going to decimate this guy all the way down to like nothing. Calculate five. Uh, probably two. <laughs> oh yeah, that low. Oop! Did I not tell it to keep the UVs? I did not. Convert to edible poly. Smooth. You're not gonna you're gonna make me look like an ass. Okay, I'll show you how to work around that. Get ready. I'm gonna detach it, and then it's gonna have the smoothing group. Oh, I love you, Max. Adorable. <laughs> I don't even remember what rocks this, rock this is called, but that's okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's say rock A optimized. Let's go with that. Back into here, uh, we got rock, rock, and I'm just going to path it over here, so if you guys don't know what the hell is going on, don't worry about it. Uh, just trust me, I'm pulling it in. Uh, rock, uh, rock B optimized. Here we go. Cool. Save. Uh, did it not import? Oh, I grabbed rock B optimized. Rock A optimized is what I want. Import all. I'm like, why did that make a new material? Save. Okay. Yes, save. Okay, let's go back up into here to rock. Remember, we're going to save that. I'll let this thing finish compiling before I make it explode. Add new element. Don't explode yet. <laughs> I have to talk to it. Otherwise, I go insane and I start swearing profusely. Uh, so it, uh, it's really in your guys' best interest, unless you want to hear someone lose their shit. So <laughs> look at that. That is weird looking. <laughs> but they're all over the place, so that's kind of heading in the right direction. Um, so now, let's go ahead and let's adjust the scaling. Point 0.1, uh, 0.1, and point 0.1. And... Do, 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 uh, these guys are sticking pretty far out of the surface. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to save this because we're being gr Max is being gentle right or not Max but Unreal is being gentle right now which I wasn't expecting it to do um, so I'm just going to pull this down effect pivot center to object reset X form convert to edible poly we're going to re-export this guy uh, rock A optimized of course and Everyone hold on, <laughs> and we're just going to re-import this. Don't blow up. Oh, cool. It's just nudged like a centimeter. Neat. Okay. And then, off of that, let's just keep going with this. Let's add one more element here, and we're just going to keep on stepping through this, okay? Do not, if you're, if you're following this and you did what I did where you imported all these meshes, do not put your high-res mesh in here. Do not do that. Um, on a high-res mesh, is anything probably for landscape stuff, I'm going to say, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say more than like 500 triangles at that. Um, okay, and again, let's play with our scale here. 
A lot of rocks over here. It's like it's the surface of Mars. And let's just drop this density down because we don't need this as high. We can maybe go 15 or, well, yeah, 15 should be fine. Okay. And we could go in and, like, remove it in areas that we don't want, right? Like, of course, obviously. Uh, maybe go up a little bit more. And let's go ahead and just walk around for a second here. We haven't rebuilt the lighting, but... Okay, starting to get some cool stuff, right? Like, it's not crazy. I mean, the rocks are a little low res and they don't really match the terrain because I'm just using the existing stuff that I have. Um, but um, if I go through and build this out, I think we're going to be in a pretty good spot. So let's just keep pushing on this for a little bit. And let's go ahead and pull in. There's a fog actor in here already. It looks like atmospheric fog. Get and let's put this at 15. Ah, nope, leave that at one. Okay, um, we're gonna use this guy. We're gonna come into fog here. We're gonna do exponential height fog. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I don't know why though. I tried to make that exciting. We're gonna make Mars or something. I don't know. The Mass Effect trailer just came out, so you know that's cool. All right, neat. We should tint everything orange. That's what I'll do in the post-processing. I'm going to tint everything orange. Post-process volume. Color grading. Uh, let's see scene color. Here we go. Yep, come on, come on. Give me it. Ta-da, we didn't have to screw with our textures either. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> And uh, let's go ahead and put some ambient occlusion on there for uh, shits and giggles. I love that word, or that saying, shits and giggles. That's the other thing. Like, someone asked me why I was doing my own tutorials. It's because I don't want to edit myself swearing anymore. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you heard it there. You're like, that's, that's good, Dave. Okay, and let's go ahead and adjust the quality here. Where's my quality? Uh, oh, there it is. Blind? Maybe. Now it's super dark. Which is kind of cool, actually. I don't mind that. Let's see if it looks weird. No, it looks cool. It's a little intense, but maybe we just do like power at like maybe th two. Yeah. Cool. Okay, and again, remember, we don't want rocks everywhere. We don't have to have rocks everywhere, right? We can scatter other objects and stuff in here. All I got is rocks, so guess what? We're just going to get rocks. Uh, <laughs> sound like a dick. I'm not trying to sound like a dick, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just really, like, I am tired. This has been... I hope you guys are learning a lot from this because I... You know, I feel bad that I didn't get one of these out sooner because I've been promising people this for, like, months. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to, you know, make a really in-depth one, and it's going to be great. My girlfriend's like, don't ever do this again. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, honey. I'm trying. All right, so I'm just going to lightly scatter some stuff here. And again, like, you guys, I mean, this is this is the fun part. Like, this is where it starts to become kind of like this little artistic endeavor here. Because you can literally, I mean, th this is where, when I'm working, this is where, like, after you get to this point, this is where you start to get to, like, be not so technical anymore. Like, you're starting to, like, get back in there and go, oh, yeah, this is why I do this. This is fun. Um, let's go ahead and pull in Roxy while we're at it. And this is going to be, Roxy is going to be a little larger, I think. It's probably the tiniest one of them all. <laughs> I always do that. I'm like, oh, it's going to be really... This is the pivotal moment. This is the big one. And it's like just nothing. It's like, damn it. <laughs> Always looking like an ass. 
And hopefully you guys are enjoying my bad humor, uh, because I can tell you right now I am. Uh, it's, uh, I got that from Paul uh, Gabriel. Love the guy. Some of his jokes are pretty bad. Mine are worse, though. Um, but let me save. I'm going to stop this video, and then I'm going to just reimport this guy real